Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, the go-to place for all things English. Phrasal verbs are two or more words that come together to give us a new verb with a different meaning from the original words. To understand better, let's have a look at some examples of phrasal verbs. Put on means to place something on yourself like clothes, get on means to progress, and move on means to go forward even if you must leave something behind. Phrasal verbs are highly useful for informal conversations. However, if we are not aware of the meaning of these phrasal verbs, we might face difficulties in understanding informal English. So, for a fluent and natural conversation, understanding phrasal verbs helps a lot. So now, let's dive deep into the world of English phrasal verbs, exploring the top 30 that every language learner should know. So grab your notebooks and let's get started. Number one, bear with. This means be patient. For example, please bear with me a moment while I finish this email. It's not that, it's... Bear with me. Number two, break off. This means ending a relationship. For example, she broke off their engagement when she found out that he'd been unfaithful. Break off all ties. Number three, hold back from. This means do not allow yourself to do something. For example, I had to hold back from losing my temper with them. I, I know. Why would you hold back from loving someone with all of your heart? Number four, bottle away or bottle up. This means storing up. For example, he kept his feelings bottled away. To talk through our problems, not to let it <laughs> bottle up. Number five, zone out. This means dissociating yourself from a situation. For example, I put some ambient music on and zoned out. Break time? Yeah, I need to zone out for a bit. Number six, wrap up. This means covering it with paper. For example, they wrapped up the presents and then put a ribbon around them. Why would somebody wrap up a cat in a box? Could also mean to finish up something you are doing. For example, let's wrap up the meeting as it is getting late. I'm offering you a way to wrap up your affairs with dignity. Number seven, go ahead. This means proceed. For example, we now intend to go ahead with the final stage of the project. Go ahead, your turn. Number eight, pick out. This means choose. For example, she picked out the food she wanted to take and left the rest. Okay. Wanna pick out some candy? Number nine, prey upon. This means exploit or harm. For example, they prey upon people's fears in order to get them to buy products. That's what these places prey upon. Ah. Number 10, look up. This means to get better. For example, everything is finally looking up for Lucy. I needed someone to look up to. Number 11, clean up. This means becoming extremely successful in an endeavor such as business, sports, or gambling. For example, our hockey team cleaned up at the tournament and went home undefeated. We clean up on a race that's already been run, and you can't miss. Number 12, get away. This means escape. For example, she went on vacation in the country to get away from the city for a while. I've got to get away from these confounded relatives hanging on the bell all day, never giving me a moment's peace. Number 13, get across. This means successfully communicating or explaining something. For example, the professor spoke for hours, but they didn't get anything across to the students. I've only been trying to get across part of the complexity of our situation down here. Number 14, kill off. This means reducing or exterminating a population by hunting, pollution, development, etc. For example, there used to be a lot of wolves around here, but most of them have been killed off by humans. But maybe that's what they want us to do. Kill off certain people. Number 15, hand in. This means submitting something, especially an assignment. For example, the teacher wants us to hand in our essays by email. I should hand in my badge. Number 16, pass out. This means distribute. For example, the protesters passed out leaflets to the growing crowd. I think my pass out already. Passing out could also mean losing consciousness. For example, the boy passed out and was unconscious. Sir, he's passed out, please. Number 17, pile in. This means entering a place quickly, in a disorganized way. For example, we all piled in the bus to go to the concert. We can all pile in the truck and we'll just see as far as we can get in. And Number 18, strike down. This means make someone ill. 
For example, I was struck down with food poisoning. Then he was struck down, deformed, punished by the gods. Number 19, track down. This means finding after a long search. For example, it took me ages to track my friends down in the crowd at the football game. The professor wants us to track down a mutant who attacked the president. Number 20, train up. This means teaching someone the specific skills they will need to carry out a job or task. This is a British example. I have been training my new assistant up. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. Number 21, walk up. This means go to someone. For example, a man walked up and asked me the time. Man, don't walk up on me! You see what's happening here? Number 22, double as. This means having a second function or purpose. For example, my study room doubles as a spare bedroom when we have visitors. I'm afraid you're gonna have to double as science officer. Number 23, daub in. This means to report someone's wrongdoing. This is a British usage. For example, he daubed us in as soon as he found out. His wife, Lauren, daubed him in. Number 24, cut off. This means isolating or making it inaccessible. For example, the heavy snow has blocked many roads and cut off a number of villages. I'm going to cut off your damn water, Bobby, I swear. Number 25, pass four. This means to be accepted as something that it is not. For example, you'd be surprised at what passes for good cooking in many restaurants. Cashmere and silk to make yourself feel what passes for happy. Number 26, run over. This means exceeding a time limit. For example, the meeting ran over by 20 minutes. I got it three times, Phil. I'm running over. Number 27, go down. This means reach or go as far as. For example, this path goes down to the lake. Please, let me go down to him. Number 28, hand back. This means returning something. For example, the police officer checked my license and then handed it back. You know what, if it's gonna make you feel better, I'll hand back my parent for the time. Number 29, bring up. This means to mention a topic or start a conversation about something. For example, I didn't want to bring up the issue during the meeting, but it needed to be addressed. You cannot bring up a conversation topic if neither of you is interested. Number 30, go through. This means to experience or endure a difficult situation. As an example, I had to go through a rigorous interview process to get this job. Well, that wraps up our exploration of the first 30 essential phrasal verbs. As phrasal verbs meanings can only be understood when their components are heard together, they can sometimes be tricky to remember. However, there are various tips and tricks you can use to help narrow down the learning process for more efficient results. So here's one tip. Practice using phrasal verbs in conversation. Try to habitually use these verbs in your everyday conversations to incorporate them into your usage naturally. You'll soon see that you can express things more smoothly. With these tips in mind, learning will be much more fun and efficient. Thanks to phrasal verb examples and practice, you will soon be able to remember them effortlessly and make your conversations more interesting. If you found this video helpful and insightful, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel for more language learning content, and hit that notification bell so you never miss a lesson. But hold on, we're still going. The journey to mastering English phrasal verbs continues in part two, where we'll delve into the remaining 30 crucial phrasal verbs. Trust me, you won't want to miss it. So stay tuned, stay excited, and keep expanding your language skills. Until then, keep learning. See you in the next video.